Hi, I'm Myra Ferguson for Ajar Productions. And in this video, I'd like to show you how to make a digital scrapbook with InDesign and N5. With InDesign and N5, you can make all sorts of interactive projects, including personal projects like a digital scrapbook. InDesign gives you the ability to easily lay out your content and N5 lets you add interactivity that you can export as HTML5 and can share with your friends and family. Here's an example of a scrapbook page for summer vacation. This example includes animated embellishments with a drop shadow effect, multiple photos that automatically play and can be paused and restarted, a coordinating title, text, a fun background image, and a background color. The background image and embellishments are all available from the Adobe Stock free collection. To search for free images, go to stock.adobe.com and filter by free. Let's go to InDesign to see how to set this up. Here's the start of the layout where I have the background image, the vacation photos, and the embellishments already placed. First, I'll add animation to each of the embellishments so that they fade in over the photos. I'll select all of the embellishments, go to Window, Interactive, Animation, and InDesign doesn't show the name of the object here because I have multiple objects selected. Set the animation preset to fade in. The event default setting is on page load, which is what we want. Change the duration to half a second and set its visibility to hide until animated. We can see the sequence of the animated objects in the timing panel by going to Window, Interactive Timing. The order is based on the order that I selected the objects. I'd like to make sure that the sequence doesn't start until all of the content has loaded. So I'm going to add a one second delay to the first object. To cycle through each set of vacation photos, I'll select a set, go to Window, Interactive, Object States, and select Convert Selection to Multistate Object. Once the photos are a multistate object, or MSO, I can apply the N5 slideshow settings. With the MSO selected, I'll go to N5, Interactive Widgets, Slideshow. In the Slideshow panel, I'll select Autoplay, tap to play pause, set a delay for four seconds to let all eight of the objects with the half second fade in animation finish playing before it starts, increase the interval so that the duration is three seconds, set it to loop, use the cross fade transition, and deselect swipe to change image. Just a note, you can use either tap to play pause or swipe to change image, but not both. I've already created MSOs from the other images and applied these slideshow settings to them. So let's save and export. In the basic section, I'll use the slider horizontal page format. In the advanced section, I'll use desktop scaling and best fit to scale the content to the browser. And in the background section, I'll set the background color to one of my orange swatches. And here's our interactive digital scrapbook. We'd love to hear in the comments how you're using InDesign and N5 for personal projects like digital scrapbooking. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and be sure to check out N5 at n5.us. Thanks so much for watching.